Thank you, Dr. Arvind and uh, <clears throat> MCURE team. When um, people from MCURE uh, approached me uh, to have um, uh, another round of uh, uh, renal transplantation experience in COVID uh, okay. uh, scenario, I said uh, people will lose interest and uh, doze off. Yes. And uh, I asked them, what are the other molecules of interest that you have? And they said that they had rituximab. I thought that there has never been a good uh, discussion on the usage of um, uh, rituximab in Indian scenario. And I had uh, collected a group of eminent uh, nephrologists who have rich experience in the field. And so I would like to introduce them to this uh, audience. The first one is Dr. Jacob Jarge from uh, the Government Medical College Trivandrum. He's a professor of nephrology, a very good friend of mine. And the reason why he is chosen as the opening batch is that he has recently published in the Kidney International Reports about his unique experience of how he handles rituximab in uh, patients with nephrotic syndrome and in uh, especially in membranous nephropathy and childhood nephrotic syndrome. So it will be very interesting to talk to him and then gather his ideas as to how he handles this molecule. The second uh, uh, participant is Dr. Uh, Sundar Shankaran, who is uh, again a very, very prominent and very uh, I think he, he is one of the uh, uh, doyens of uh, kidney transplants in the country, uh, pioneering uh, uh, nephrologist of the country. Uh, he is the head of department of nephrology at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. So he will be sharing his experience on rituximab in the renal transplant. The third participant is uh, again a very well-known figure of uh, uh, the Indian nephrology scene. Dr. Edwin Fernando, who is the professor of nephrology at the Stanley Medical College, Chennai. And he has done a lot of uh, original work in the field of uh, nephrotic syndrome, especially in membranous nephropathy, where he will be sharing his experience of rituximab in uh, membranous nephropathy. The fourth participant is Dr. Ilangovan. Again, a very uh, uh, academically oriented uh, nephrologist of uh, uh, the southern states. Uh, he is an uh, alumnus of CMC Vellore, and he will be talking to us about the use of rituximab in SLE and the systemic vasculitis as it applies to nephrology. My first uh, experience with uh, uh, rituximab is way back in 2010 when I read the first report of use of rituximab uh, in uh, steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome in five children uh, which was published in um, uh, New England Journal of Medicine by Dr. Arvind Daga from uh, <clears throat> Ames, New Delhi and subsequently uh, Gulati also published along with uh, Arvind Daga his uh, experience of uh, use of this in the childhood nephrotic syndrome close to 20 children. And the experience gave me some confidence that I can use this molecule in one of uh, uh, the uh, children who really gave me nightmares. Because after every uh, three months, uh, the child will visit, uh, uh, will be carried by the mother. And uh, after remission, there will be tremendous relapse of nephrotic syndrome. And uh, I, my backs were to the wall and I had nothing else to go on. I had used everything. I had thrown everything at him and he wouldn't budge. Then I had to uh, use rituximab. And I gave uh, two doses of uh, rituximab at that time. And uh, the results were really dramatic. The child never returned and it uh, returned only after two years with a relapse. And the relapse was very well controllable with the routine drugs like steroid, uh, steroids. So that gave me some confidence and I started using um, rituximab in more and more numbers of 
difficult to treat uh, steroid resistant and steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome in children especially uh, who are bi biopsy proved uh, minimal chain nephropathy i didn't uh, my experience is not good in patients who had steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome with uh, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis but in steroid dependent uh, and frequently relapsing with difficult to control relapses this gave me a very good option the uh, reason why i could have a large number of children is possibly because of the uh, city in which i practice because the smaller the city that you are practicing lesser number of pediatric nephrologists will be coming into your city so uh, we love to uh, have the both the hats of adult and the pediatric nephrology and that is how i got the uh, experience in that overall the uh, results have been good the side effects if you read the published literature about the side effect of this molecule then uh, you wouldn't be having any confidence in going uh, ahead with the therapy because the side side effects uh, could be unnerving the uh, starting from hepatitis b reactivation to uh, even uh, cardiac transplantation secondary to enterovirus uh, uh, cardiomyopathy the side effects could be unnerving but uh, luckily we have not had any serious side effects in my patients of so, uh, 22 patients in these last 10 years so uh, i would have used one or two uh, cases with rituximab of nephrotic syndrome which are hard to treat and now i will uh, call upon dr uh, jacob jaj and ask him as to what or his experiences and how he designed his paper and what are the important messages that he would like to give for the audience about the use of rituximab as it applies to indian context dr uh, Jacob, please. 